Welcome dear students to our learn from home reading session. My name is Shridhika Suresh Rohar from Dhanar Colony Municipal English School number no. 1 and today we are going to read more about animals. So let's begin our practice. Topic animal read with pictures. Today we are going to read some information about animals and we will try to inculcate and understand more new words about the uh, various animals so different animal and their information will give you more enriched vocabulary about nature so let's begin one picture at a time the first picture this is a guinea pig it is a very friendly pet it can jump but can't climb. It has a good memory. Look at the another picture on your right. This is a hamster. It has small furry ears. Its fur is thick and silky. It eats seeds and fruits. Next slide. Donkey. We all know donkey. This is a donkey. It has two large ears. It kicks with its hind legs. It can be quite stubborn. Look at another picture on your right. This is a duck. It eats grass and fish. It has a wide black beak, flat beak, sorry. It has a wide flat beak. It is caring and protective. Look at the beautiful bird it is. Next slide. These two are insects. Insects are also a kind of animal. This is a cricket. It has a round head. Its hind legs are powerful. It can jump very well. Look at another picture. This is a dragonfly. It has transparent wings. Its body is very long. It can fly very fast. You all must have seen dragonflies flying in the air. This one is really beautiful with the red color. Let's go to the next slide. Tiny creatures. Look at the first picture on your left hand side. This is an ant. It has colonies everywhere. Its antenna perceives smell. It bites and stings enemies. Look at another picture on your right. This is a flea. It has strong claws. It sucks blood from its host. It is small and cannot fly. So these both creatures, they attack if they are troubled by the host or enemy. Next slide. This is an owl. It has a large broad bee, broad head. Its talons are sharp. It flies around slight silently. I read it again. This is an owl. It has a large broad head. Its talons are sharp. It flies around silently. Another picture. The colorful parrot. This is a parrot. It is a multicolored bird. Multicolored means uh, many colors club together. It eats seeds and nuts. 
it lays white eggs interesting yeah two words again this is a crane look at the picture on your left hand side this is a crane it has long legs and neck it is the tallest flying bird it eats fish and grain look how beautiful it is look at your right hand side and this is a dove it has a short neck its white wings are large it eats seeds and fruits look at the dove white colored bird beautiful both are looking really beautiful isn't it next slide this is a rhinosaur it has a small brain it has a pointed mouth it eats leaves and twigs rhino you got another picture on your right this is called a skink it is a type of lizard it can regenerate its tail regenerate means once this creature's tail is broken it can develop its another tail from the same side it has small legs its legs are really small lizards have little longer legs as compared to this creature this creature has short ones next slide yeah look at the picture on your left hand side this is a raccoon it is an intelligent animal it lives in mountains mountain areas it has short legs look at the left raccoon it is looking like a cat but it's not a cat it's a raccoon look at the picture on your right hand side this is a rattlesnake it eats birds rodents its tail makes a loud rattling noise when vibrated vibrated means when this viper shakes its tail the tail resonates and creates a rattling sound that's why the snake is called as rattlesnake yeah next picture next slide this is an arctic fox it lives in very cold areas it has thick and warm fur it eats small animals so this is a arctic fox look at another picture on your right this is called a baboon it has a powerful jaw its teeth are sharp it sleeps in trees at night so on your left is a arctic fox on your right is a baboon next picture this is a numbat its tail is bushy it has a pointed muzzle it eats ants and termites look at another picture on your right this is an ostrich it cannot fly ostrich is a bird but it cannot fly it is the largest bird it lives in the savanna ostrich is the largest bird this is a fact which you should remember for your general knowledge a question can be asked name the largest bird then you can say i know the largest bird it's ostrich it's a bird it's the largest bird but it cannot fly next slide yes 
Look at the picture on your left. This is a koala. It does not have a tail. It has round fluffy ears. It sleeps 20 hours a day. Quite a very long time to sleep. This creature looks like a bear but it, its name is koala. Look at the another picture on your right. This is a lemur. It has two large eyes. It lives in trees. It is active at night. Active at night in the sense in the daytime they must be sleeping and in the night time they eat and travel. Next slide. Look at the picture on your left. This is a deer. It grows and sheds antlers. It lives in tropical rainforest. It eats grasses and weeds. Antlers, look at its antlers on its head. Quite large. Must be hard to. Now, pay attention to the right side picture. Picture on your right hand side. This is an elephant. It has a long trunk. Its tusk can move objects. It is a herbivorous animal. Herbivorous animal means animal that eats herbs. They do not hunt and eat other animals. No more. Next slide. That's it for today. So it was really fun reading about animals and looking at their pictures. Reading with the help of pictures really helps learner to remember the information for longer time. So keep practicing. Listen to this video again. Try to read the information all by yourself. You can also yeah, give yourself a project or assignment write name of the animal and write its information in short in a notebook this will be a good practice in the lockdown period dear students stay at home stay safe keep learning from home and remember to wear your mask practice social distancing try not to leave your home wash your hands with the soap for 20 seconds once you wear your mask, try not to touch your face again and again. Stop adjusting your mask frequently. See you in the next session of Learn From Home with another reading session. Till then, stay safe.